everybody and welcome back to my header gamer as you can see we are doing another video that's going to be kind of educational but fun too for you collectors that are into imported game systems and well video games in general what we have here is a super famicom controller and as we all know the super famicom controller has a very short cord like three feet maybe at the most and I'll just bring this up to you guys so you guys can see that it is a Famicom. Super Famicom controller. And it is very short. I mean, very short. And in America, we normally like to be far away from the TV. As we all know, like the Nintendo uh, controller wires are long. The Super Nintendo controller is long. We just prefer long cables because, well, usually our rooms are a lot bigger than in Japan. They're pretty much right up in front of the TV. Um... So of course, they needed this short of a cable. Now, some of you guys are thinking, well, you know, I'll just get an add-on and just, you know, extension and add-on to it. Well, I don't like that. That's that's cause of it coming apart. You can still, you know, cause a lot of problems with that. So, what I do is I looked around and asked a couple of questions online and found out that there are people selling replacement cables from um, Super Nintendo. So he said it worked, he tested it out, came from a controller that worked, I found them on eBay. It is used, but that's okay, it's, like I said, it's supposed to still work. So I'm gonna try to change this Super Famicom to the NES thing. They should match up. I think the only thing different is maybe this. I never did this, um, this is my first attempt. So we're gonna give it a shot. So what we're going to do is, I always have a Q-tip in here, always, you never know when you're cleaning something. I'm not going to clean it today, I just want to change this out if it's dirty. So if it's anything like our controllers, it has a Phillips screwdriver. Usually I use the, um, what is this, this is SDP-0C, so I don't know what, you know, it's zero, so usually that's the right one. And I will open this controller. I think the person I bought this from opened it. Because those screws are not that... Are not that... Taut. It's not tight to say, like to say. You can see I'm just unscrewing this. Um, people are wondering probably, why do you, why do you buy Super Famicom? I, I like the look of it. I like the controllers better. Uh, I was going to do how to change up the, the buttons, but... I figured you guys could see that and it's not that hard and you could change out the colors through Super Nintendo to match these. So it's pretty cool, they're cheap if you go to the right place. It takes a while to get them though, because they're they're from China. It takes a while to get them. But you could change out your Super Nintendo to have the red, green, yellow, and blue, I think. Alright, oh no, it's the same color. Look at it. look here. Here you guys go. It's the same inside, just different casing. It's it's awesome. It's the same same plug. Same plug. So what you do is you pretty much just remove this cable and this should come right out. You just pull that baby right out. Put that to the side and you put this one in. And there's a nubby there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little nubby right in there. It lines up with that nubby right there. If you guys can see it. I don't think you guys can see it on camera. Yeah, there, that little nubby. So this side goes down. Push it back in. Just like that. Rerun the wires. Like that. You will have to take the screws out of here. Oh, I lost the controller here. No big deal. If these buttons come out, it's really no big deal. Um, until it does that, then it's a big deal. And another one came out, but that's okay. So your rubber pads come out. Okay, these are easy to replace. We still didn't get the piece out that I, that I was looking for. It's stuck in there. Okay. Huh. Of course, simple video goes wrong. You guys, simple video goes wrong. Okay. I 
if it had come out. No, it's right down here. Okay. That's right. It's just a D-pad, and he, he must have cleaned it, so that's good. All right, so... I'm going to show you how to put it all back together now. <laughs> so, you just, this just fits in like this. There are keepers to keep it in. You want to make sure all your buttons and everything are right. Lock it in with this cord. This is how I do it. I usually lock it in with this cord. Like this. down with this cord. Oh, I don't like how it's laying in there. Let's do something here. There we go. There we go. That's going to be a little bit better. Alright, so this. I'm sorry, you do this. Oh, like that, and then your controller's there. Now what you do is, you don't want to lose these. These are important. What you do is you make sure everything is lining up good. And you put your bumpers back in. Make sure they're right here. You put that bumper like that. That bumper like that. And you take these and screw it right. Let's get this rubber band off here. And there's little places to put these little upright sticks. I call them these little metal sticks. And then these go on one way. And one way only. Alright, just like this. And then we put the cover back on. This. Everything's lined up right. It should. It should go on smooth. Yeah. Okay, installed smoothly, so. Here's hoping. Alright, there you go. I always put screws in on one corner at a time. They should go in pretty easy. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure everything still works. Which they do. Alright, so there you guys go, bro. Let's put the screws in. This, we're going to all put in. Now wiggle them a little. Put them in spot. And it should just go like that. Screw them in. And they are done, you guys. It's done. It's finished. It is ready for gaming 
at a distance on your Super Famicom. There you guys have it. We went from a short cable to a long cable to play Super Famicom games on our Super Famicom with a long cable extension. And it's the same cord, it's just longer. That's all it is, is it's longer. So if you guys liked the video, thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button like you mean it. Put notifications on because we do we're starting to do more videos for this channel. If you want to watch look help support the channel, there is merchandise below. If you want to watch my live streams, check out my Twitch account. It's linked below. You don't have to subscribe, you can follow and you can get notifications there. And follow me on Twitter for cool information about what's going on. Or just ask, see how I ask for, you know, your, see how you guys are doing. I like to uh, keep up with you guys and talk to you. So, again, thank you. Keep your controller charged. And have a great day, evening, or afternoon whenever you're watching this.